Sarah, can you tell us like a little bit about like the background, how, um, a little bit about what was happening before you started coming to Hungry Gen? Yes, so actually um, I was struggling a lot personally. My relationship was struggling a lot too. Um, I fell into a really deep depression and I remember sitting in my living room crying my eyes out. And I'm smiling right now, but it's crazy because if I go back, I, I don't even know how I got out of it, but it was God. Um, so I was sitting in my living room crying my eyes out. I literally asked God, give me a sign. I need a sign from you, God. Um, then it comes a hiking trip came up. That's where I met Paola, and that was God's sign. <laughs> Amen. She told me about this hiking trip, and I remember I actually told my sister, I was like, I don't really want to go on the hiking trip, whatever, it's my day off. And um, then I just felt like the Spirit, like I didn't even know Holy Spirit was talking to me. I just heard the word like evangelism. And I was just like, okay, this, like, I have to go because these new people that I'm going to meet, like, I'm going to be able to evangelize to them. And I just felt it so heavily on my heart. And so when Star told me, like, you were my sign, like, you were my confirmation, it just touched me so much because at the time I didn't know that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me, but he was. And um, it's just so amazing to see what the awesome breakthrough that has happened in your life. So can you just share about, like, the amazing testimonies that you've seen in your life? Yeah, so actually, um, there is so much peace in my relationship now. <clears throat> Not just that, but when I was going through all this, um, at the age of three, my daughter got her eye surgery. So she got this small little tumor. It's called a calizia. Um, and even adults get it now. It's basically blocked um, oil glands from your eye, and it ends up in a little tumor. But by the time we realized that she had this tumor in her eye, um, it was too late. Medicines weren't going to work. So she got an eye surgery when she was three. Um, come back in September of this year, she gets the same bump again in her eye, but this time in the different eye. Um, we take her to the eye doctor, and he's like, I'm sorry, like the bump's like too far developed already. She's going to need another surgery. Um, when he said that, I remember crying so much because that's the one, number one thing that I didn't want to go through again and have to put her through it again. Um, I started coming to service in October to watch Paola. Um, she's the one that invited me here. I started coming, and then after like two times that I came alone, I decided to bring my husband and my daughter. Um, and then um, we started coming a lot. A couple months passed. The bump didn't go away. The eye doctor was like, you should wait and like wait out a month and see if it goes away because sometimes it does. It didn't go away. It just grew bigger. Okay, so I was at a service, at a Wednesday service, and I was like, wait a minute. There's one thing I haven't done, prayed. <laughs> so I decided to pray, and I prayed really hard. I had a conversation with God, and I asked God to help heal my daughter and heal my relationship. Every single day when she was brushing her teeth, we would open that eyelid just to see how it was progressing. Well, the day I prayed, I didn't check her eyes for two days. Two days later, she was brushing her teeth, and I'm like, here we go. <laughs> open her eyelid, it was completely gone. Come on, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise God, he is so good. And then Star was expressing to me how excited um, Audrey is. <laughs> yeah, so actually, she had no idea I had prayed for her. Um, I ended up telling her like a month later what was going on and how that little bump went away because she even realized, she's like, I don't have a bump no more. I don't have a bump no more. I don't need surgery. She was so excited. I pick her up at school one day and her teachers were like, she was talking about how God healed, healed her to us and to her friends. Yeah. And that really touched my heart because I came here seeking a relationship with God for myself. But he came into my daughter and he came into my husband. Yeah. Praise God. Audrey, can you just testify? Can you share with us that the bump is no longer there? Yeah. <laughs> and do you tell do you tell your teachers and your classmates about God and how he healed you? Yeah. Yay! 
Awesome praise, God. Thank you so much, Star. Thank you so much, Audrey, for sharing your testimony. Hi there, this is Lana. Thank you so much for watching this testimony. I bet you were blessed. If you would like to see more of these testimonies, please subscribe and thank you again for watching.